guys how's it going uh, I'm back as you can see we're in windows now uh so i already ran some benchmarks here but we'll get to that in a second uh you want something to monitor your temperatures your voltages all that stuff like here as you can see uh running a little bit of a Group, but it's you know voltages you kind of take them with a grain of salt as most people say most people say they're not perfect but as you can see it's pretty close that might even be my system drooping a little bit line load control not quite doing its job enough but usually doesn't happen it's usually right around where I want it um temperature wise as you can see I'm pretty good 36 degrees Max, you can even see the socket temperature here went up to 48, but the core temperature right around 36. Um, what else? Do, 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 do. Uh, that's all you guys pretty much need to look at, but just keep an eye on your temperatures, your voltages. Like, I'll get into something in a few minutes, but uh, just make sure you have some software to monitor your temperatures. You can use overdrive if you want. I don't recommend it for overclocking. I'll make my point about that in a few minutes here. Actually, I'll do it now. Because say you're in Windows, I'm already at 4 gigahertz. I want to go a little higher. So overdrive doesn't have my voltage where I want it. I'm only going to bring it up a little bit and you're about to see why. Okay, my target voltage is 3. Right now I'm at 3.9, 3.8, right around there anyway. Okay, so I'm already 20 times, so let's click apply. Now look at this, 4.6. That's what I don't like about overdrive, is it's, it's messed up. It don't know what the hell's going on. It really does not. that's close enough but uh, you guys get the point obviously now uh, don't use overdrive if you really must just do what I did and be be careful as you're raising your voltages because you'll get a hell of a surprise um, but anyway here's my score on uh, the AMD overdrive benchmark not too shabby not the greatest I've had but not too shabby Especially for 4 gigahertz. Um, as you can see, it monitors, <coughs> it also monitors your temperatures. So, that is one thing handy about overdrive. Once again, don't trust its voltages. Like you can see, the CPU vid's supposed to be 1.25, but it sure is not. So, like I said, just keep that in mind. Um, also, I ran, yeah, here it is, 3D Vantage. Uh, if you guys want to run 3D Vantage, go ahead. I usually run uh, 3D Mark 11, but since I installed Vantage for uh, benchmarking thing I'm doing, I didn't work out my uh, 3D uh, Mark 11 stopped working, so... But Vantage is working, so I use that for now. Uh, if you guys have the Advanced Edition, you can do whatever you want in here. Well, I'm not going to say you can do whatever you want because performance is at 1080p, so you might need to do entry if you're not running 1080p or custom. But uh, my score on Performance Edition was 45, which is pretty good pretty good for an FX 6100 um, but yeah I'll uh, let you guys have a look at that um, that's pretty much it what I'm gonna do now is uh, restart and we'll uh, bump it up to around 4 gigahertz but just in a different way I might go up to 4.2 myself I kinda like 4.2 ish 
But uh, anyway, uh, I'll be back in a minute, and you guys can see what's up. Uh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, guys, is you are, if you plan on staying at 4 gigahertz, awesome. Uh, just make sure you download Prime 95. Uh, when you do this, watch your temperatures. It's really important because, like, where's mine? Watch this. You run it. And your temperatures can climb pretty quickly. I'm sitting around, it'll probably stop around 44, 45. But uh, I'm also running a gigantic cooler. So uh, just keep in mind, run this for a few hours. Uh, I'll just open it again so you guys can see here. Oh, yeah. It helps if I actually exit it, doesn't it? But. Uh, there it is. Okay. So, if you want, if you're worried, let's say you're sitting around 40 degrees or something like that. Try two cores, and if two cores is okay, try four, and if four is okay, go to six. If you're worried about your temperatures. Uh, Temperature-wise, you want to stay, I like staying within 60 to 65 degrees. 65 is my max. That's... I don't like going any higher than that because the CPU's max temperature is 60 or 75 or 70, 70 degrees Celsius. Sorry about that. Got my 65 mixed up with my 70. But anyway, try and stay around 60 to 65 degrees is okay. Shouldn't hurt your chip. Besides, you're not going to be under this kind of load all the time. You know, what I mean? like this is extreme load, extreme circumstances is what it is. Like, uh, Battlefield only uses, like, maybe 40-50% of my CPU. So, <clears throat> don't worry about it too much. Uh, but, yeah, make sure you run this for a few hours. Make sure no, none of your cores fail. Make sure you don't get too hot. Uh... Make sure you watch your voltages, because if they drop down too far, then that means you have an issue and you'll have to raise your voltages a little bit. If you, That might be the reason why you're crashing if you do. Certain things like that. Uh, if you have any questions, by all means ask me. Um, what I'm going to do is move on to the other section, like I said I would. Uh, I'll see you guys in a few minutes.